The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has warned that the world faces a generational catastrophe because of school closures amid the coronavirus pandemic and said that getting students safely back to the classroom must be a top priority. Guterres said that as of mid-July, schools were closed in some 160 countries, affecting more than 1 billion students, while at least 40 million children have missed out on preschool. This came on top of more than 250 million children already being out of school before the pandemic and only a quarter of secondary school students in developing countries leaving with basic skills. Joining us to discuss this is an educationist, Dr. Uma Olebara. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you and God bless. Is the phrase generational catastrophe an exaggeration by the WHO? Yeah, this statement is an overkill, an overstatement, more, fright, more frightening, intimidating, and panicky. I say this because soldiers are not frightened into a war, but studiously organized to go to the war. There is a saying that missing your way before getting to a place makes it imperative for you not to miss your way the second time. We have learned our lessons. The pandemic is here with us. It frightened us to our marrows, and today we are addressing it and ensuring that in no distant time we will conquer it. It has taught us that for too long we have been complacent, not racking our brains to get the lacken. Today we have learned to participate to anticipate and be battle ready for future eventualities. Yeah. So, so can, you, can you explain what you feel are our options? How can the projection, you know, um, like the, um, of course, Antonio Guterres has mentioned it, how can that be mitigated? How can we avoid getting to that catastrophic level? You see, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. We have to abide by all regulations by the World Superintending World Health Body, WHO. All countries, all religions, all cultures of the world must, as of necessity, inculcate these recommendations and regulations by World Health Organization into all their inhabitants. In schools, it must be on notice board in pamphlets must be recited, imbued, and practiced by school children of all ages. The environments, home and schools must be near perfect. Teachers of all standards must ensure that World Health Organization recommendations are implemented to the latter. Yeah. And of course, you would expect that the Nigerian government would do the same. Uh, or what would your suggestions be to the Nigerian government in order to manage the education at all levels if we are to survive, of course, without uh, causing the lasting damage to education in Nigeria today? Nigerian government should develop the political will and engage the best of hands and brains, provide adequate funds and monitoring to ensure adequate delivery. Human investment is the best form of investment, which must be beyond politics, religion, and ethnicity. Let's desist from toying with the education of our children. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much for being a part of, uh, of course, um, our conversation. We'll look, look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you.